We just had a chance to talk to Bruno Le Maire about what the discussions today will entail. Uh, in particular, the proposal the French have made that they should tie debt relief after the August 20th exit by Greece to the Greek economy's relative strength. I asked him how he'd be lobbying for that proposal and whether he thought there were still going to be obstacles to it being agreed upon by some of his partners, including Germany. Let's take a listen to what he said. We should be able in the coming weeks to find a consensus with uh, all uh, the member states of uh, the Eurogroup on uh, the debt treatment for uh, Greece. First of all, we have to look at the decisions that have already been taken by uh, Greece to meet their uh, commitments and to close the fourth review, because this is the first step and uh, the necessary step to close the fourth review at the last Council of June. And I'm confident that we should be able to find a consensus among the member states of the Eurozone to uh, close the fourth review in June. Greece has already taken some important commitments and taken some important actions. We are uh, looking for other actions because we think that maybe they could put some new decisions on the table. And by the uh, end uh, of June for the next European Council, if there are those new decisions, we should be able to close the fourth review. Thereafter, we ha will have to define a common framework for uh, the debt treatment. And that framework has to be clear, comprehensive, and credible for the markets. So I'm still in the process of discussing with the other member states that uh, framework. We will have a first discussion today. Uh, I, I don't know if we will be able to close today the discussion because it takes time. But uh, in the coming weeks, we should be able to find a consensus with Germany, with the other member states, to define very precisely that common framework, which once again has to be clear, comprehensive and credible for the market so that the Greek economic recovery can follow on. The proposal the French government's put forward, a dynamic proposal for that framework you're talking about, do you believe that's the only possible outcome that will encourage the IMF to get involved after August 20th? I think that's one of the possible outcomes. Uh, I think that that dynamic approach has a, a key advantage. It allows us to uh, look at the results of Greece as far as growth is concerned and then to uh, adjust at the uh, level of uh, rescheduling depending on uh, the level of uh, growth. So we are still in the process of uh, discussing that uh, proposal. I had the opportunity to uh, discuss that with uh, Germany, with the president of the Eurogroup and with Christine Lagarde during the uh, IMF meeting in Washington uh, last week. So the, the, the proposal is still on the table. I think it is a very convenient and efficient one. Another person, of course, involved in those discussions in Washington last week was Bruno Le Maire's countryman, Pierre Moscovici, his, in fact, his predecessor, now a European commissioner. And we asked him about the same idea that the French were proposing linking uh, debt relief payments in the future to the relative strength of the Greek economy and whether he believed that was the right proposal to get the IMF on board. Here's what he told us. I think we, the Europeans, we have the right figures and we must ask, not ask too much from Greece. You know that this country now has a primary surplus of 4.2%, overperforming what is asked for mid, the 175%. So uh, they are doing their part of the job. So not, let's not ask them any more uh, austerity measures. I, I think that would not be legitimate and that would not be efficient for their own growth. So let's not talk about, talk about feature, but f f figures, but I think that the, the, the IMF is right. The, the, the debt burden on, on Greece is too high. And this is why I think the uh, mechanism we are talking about, linking uh, debt to growth, must be examined. It must be examined uh, knowing the constraints of the country uh, politically, uh, but also with the idea that uh, we must uh, give uh, the Greek authorities the capacity to alleviate that burden. And I think that's the IMF's requirement and we must uh, meet this requirement. Uh, because uh, again, uh, the IMF as, as, a, as a partner showing the credibility of the program is very important. So guys, you know, as you've heard there, and as has been the case for the last eight years, is a huge number 
of different moving parts. We've had this discussion about whether there will be a precautionary credit line after August 20th. None of these options are particularly politically palatable, of course, for Alexis Tsipras and his government as they go into 2019 elections, whether they'll have very strict supervision like they've had the last eight years, whether they'll have a form of surveillance with the number of visits each year by European partners, by the IMF. But going into the discussions today, it does seem like they're trying to make decisions today that will then affect that period of after August 20th. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.